Hey, see Jesus friends and supporters, uh, like my new t-shirt. Just wanted to show that to you. Uh, just want to say, hey, give you a quick update and tell you how thankful I am for you and the support and the friendship, the encouragement of what you've given uh, life to me and doing this ministry uh, with See Jesus. It's just a blast. Uh, just a few quick updates. I uh, wanted to give you kind of just some raw numbers to start with. Uh, this year alone in the Chattanooga region and beyond, uh, we've been able to introduce the person of Jesus to 1,300 students, to about 700 adults, and that includes about 140 youth pastors in the North Georgia, Chattanooga region, and beyond uh, this year alone. So it's been really exciting. That, may, that equivalates to about 86 churches that have been introduced to what it means, introduced to see Jesus, but introduced to what it means to study Jesus as a person. Uh, just to give you one story uh, to, to go along with that, I, I was asked to come speak at a youth group of about 100 students at a church in North Georgia. And uh, I said, hey, I told the youth pastor, I said, hey, would you be okay if I, I did this interactively? And most of the time I get this reaction, hmm, uh, not so sure how that's going to go, but I trust you, so go for it. Uh, so I get up there and I, I'm I'm talking to this youth group, and I've done this in groups of size, large as churches, preaching at, at 300, down to down to 20 kids, down to 10 kids, and, and doing it interactively works in a lot of really cool ways. And so I'm up there talking about Jesus' interaction with Peter, talking about this honesty and how how Jesus uh, and making this scene come alive, and asking questions and getting students engaged in the story. And talking about how did how Jesus, before he rebukes Peter and gives him this piece of honesty, he turns and he looks at his disciples first. And there's this moment, this time, this space that he gives, this probably praying in the spirit and, and waiting. But he, and then he launches into this rebuke uh, of Peter, and we we help bring these stories to life. And so at the end of that, uh, the youth pastor gets up and he just goes, "Wow, like." Not only have I learned something about Jesus that I've never seen before, but I've also learned that you guys as students love to have an interaction with the Bible and you love to discover and ask questions and, and receive answers and, and this back and forth dialogue. And he looked at all his leaders and he said, we need to learn this skill. And uh, so I just love that story. I love uh, the fact that what See Jesus is a part of is, is bringing the gospel stories to life, that the next generation might fall in love with the beauty of this person. They're asking the question, what does it mean to be human? And we have the greatest person in history who did the most extraordinary work that's ever been done to give them and to say, you want to know what it means to be fully alive? Then look at the person of Jesus. He's right in front of you. He's there in the gospels, bringing to life. So I encourage you in whatever ways I can serve you and helping do that, uh, I would love to talk more with you. And I do ask for one, one more thing, if you would just consider uh, this season, as we talk about Giving Tuesday and those kind of things, would you be willing uh, in this season to maybe increase your support or give your support, uh, increase it maybe $25 of what you've been giving that would help our budget as it increases, as our ministry grows and we expand this in different areas and these new initiatives that we have would you consider that? Or if you haven't been a supporter, would you consider giving maybe for the first time? Uh, we would love for you to be on board with us. God is doing wonderful things in and through you. And I just want to thank you and thank the Lord for you. I love you and I'm grateful for you. Uh, let's go give him Jesus because he is life as uh, we long to see it. Uh, so may we give people the life-giving person at the center of the Gospels, the person of Jesus.